What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another legendary item guide and this time I'm going to tell you guys how to get the dastardly amazing grace, what this gun does, and why you should pick it up. So this is obviously a legendary Jacob's pistol and I uh, love the design of this thing. Like the, uh, the classic wooden handle and the golden looking skin and the uh, yeah just everything about this thing is really cool. I like the, the bullets on the side as well. Uh, the little fish trinket, that's my own. That's you know just for added protection. You never know. You never know, guys. Uh, the red text on this gun says Memento Mori, which is a reference to Destiny and the Ace of Spades pistol. Now, the Ace of Spades in Destiny is a uh, gun that uh, you get from Cade 6, I think. I, I'm not really sure on the specifics of that. <laughs> I'm not real super knowledgeable about my Destiny stuff, but I can tell you that uh, when you land crits with this gun, uh, you don't use ammo, as you can see. Still have five, still have five, still have five. So if you're an extremely accurate player, then you can use this gun to extremely good effect. It's essentially an infinity pistol for accurate Jacobs players. <laughs> so if you can be accurate, and you guys know me, you guys know I'm not the best aimer. <laughs> is aimer a word? I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say the aimer is a word. See, I've used a shot there because I didn't hit that crit. But uh, even I can, land crits enough with a Jacob's pistol to make this thing really, really, really good. So, how do you get this gun, you're probably asking yourself. All you gotta do is complete a quest called The Life of the Party, which you get a Devil's Razor, and uh, that one, you can only pick it up after you've um, actually saved uh, Brick, Mordecai, and Tina. They uh, they call for your help while you're driving by in Devil's Razor. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. I'll show you guys here in just a moment. But yeah, so after completing that, and the cool thing is whether you do all the side challenges uh, for that quest or you just rush right through it and you know do whatever, you're still gonna get the 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 amazing grace either way. And uh, this gun is amazing, man. Like I feel like I say that about literally every gun that I review, but it's just true. <laughs> it's just true, man. Like there's so many really good guns in this game. And a lot of them are amazing. So I don't know. It, it's it's crazy, man. Like they really they really wanted to give us some OP gear in this one, and I love it. I have no complaints, honestly. <laughs> if you're accurate, unlike me, then you know you can basically shoot forever with this gun. You don't have to worry about reloading. Uh, you just murder nonstop and fear nothing. <laughs> it's pretty great. Even if you're not hitting your shots, it's still a really good weapon. Uh, not as powerful as some Jacob's pistols, but uh, that's mitigated by the fact that you're never using ammo if you're at least moderately accurate. You know, you you're you shouldn't run out of ammo with this gun ever. If you do, then wow, uh, you're bad. <laughs> and I'm bad, so I feel like I can say that to you. <laughs> you know, I'm bad, and I feel like I'm justified in saying that. But yeah, look at this. Like, you just shoot forever, man. Just shoot forever. I'm killing old sloth over here. Did he just throw Captain Thunk at me? Is that what just happened? Did he throw Captain Thunk? I don't think you're allowed to do that, bro. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. I think that might be frowned upon, tossing tinks like that. So, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like this gun is worth picking up. The, uh, the side quest will possibly break your heart a little bit. Just be warned. Um, and with that said, let's jump into how to actually get this thing. I'll show you the quest. I'll show you what you got to do for the quest. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so as you see, step one, we come over here to Devil's Razor. We're going to grab a vehicle, and we're going to go for a little ride, and I'm going to show you guys how to pick up the mission to get the ball rolling for this mission. So upon spawning a vehicle, just hang a left and follow this road. You're going to go all the way around, almost all the way to Boomtown, which is where Tina, Mordecai, and Brick like to hang out. But we're going to show you guys how to pick up the quest that uh, you need in order to get the Amazing Grace. So after going through this cave right here, you should hear some voice lines from your buddies. As you see, here's Brick, and we're going to have to take this mission called Boom 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 Town. So as you see, after you complete that mission, you get to Boom Town, and once you get to Boom Town, you complete that mission, you will be able to go and pick up the next mission, which is what we need in order to complete the quest. All right, so as you can see, literally right after you complete that mission, you can actually go over to Mordecai and he has a mission for you. And that is life of the party. So go ahead and accept that. And then what you gotta do is you gotta start picking up some flowers. 
so you can go to a kid's birthday party and her name is Grace. So for this next part, as you pick up these flowers, you do have to get all five of them. So be aware of that. That does take a little bit of time to locate them all. But once you've done that, then you can proceed to the next part of the mission. So along the way, we will learn the heartbreaking story of how this young girl was destined to become basically Mordecai's protege and become the next Vault Hunter. But things don't always work out the way you want them to in life. So after collecting the flowers, you head over to this point of the map right here. And we're going to cross this bridge and head on over to where we meet Mordecai. I feel you on that one, Mordecai. So place the flowers and then you're going to meet her father. father is going to give you a bunch of different challenges to do whether you do them whether you break her records whether you let her records stand either way at the end of this mission you will be rewarded this gun so fear not what choices you make they're not going to matter at all for this next part it's going to ask you to do some grenade throwing the easiest way to complete this challenge unless you have like a fastball would be just to take off your grenade mod and throw an empty grenade slot now, if you're doing Zane and you have two action skills, you will need to disable your second action skill by going over here, clicking on your action skill, and then disabling it. Now, you do have to throw at least five grenades to complete that part. You do have the option if you want. You can keep throwing and break her record, but you don't have to. Also, if you're Zane, don't forget to re-equip your second action skill. So, as you see, whether you beat her record or not, he's going to let you whack the pinata. And inside, you get the Bouncy Exterminator. Now, why you get four of them, I don't know. Maybe it's just to accommodate in case you're playing with four players. But as you see, once you complete the quest, he rewards you with a Legendary. And that is the Amazing Grace. Now, I literally got the exact same version. I don't know if this is always completely identical. Astronomical odds, if not. <laughs> so I would imagine that the parts are locked for this thing just so you know, and the bouncy exterminator you get from the pinata there. Uh, the red text on that says, give me sugar. I don't know much about this grenade yet. I haven't really messed with it. So uh, more on that in a future video, perhaps. So that's all there is to it. That's how you get this gun. It's pretty simple, easy quest. Again, you just have to discover Tina and her crew at Boomtown, grab the mission from Mordecai, and then you have your hands on the Amazing Grace. And if you can hit your crits, then you don't use ammo. So, pretty great. So, if this video was helpful to you guys, if it was, please take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.